Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a worm shaft based on the shape what has been defined as the sketch, so based on this green surface. And first of all I will show you the steps, what has been done and we will go through. So you can see here that if I will move the dragger here, the, as the first I have created the line and based on the line I have use the first sweep feature. It's a part of the shape and I will show you why it was, not nece was necessary to create it separately. And because in the previous tutorial regarding the worm shaft you have seen that it's possible to create in the one feature, but sometimes we have to use the surface modeling, so this is the step or steps how we can reuse the surface modeling. So the second thing is what you can do is create a, another part of the shape and then continue. So you will create what, what is necessary. At the end I'd like to merge it all together. So this all this feature right now is as a one quilt. So if I will select the quilt you see that is one quilt. And also then it's possible to create the final shape based on the standard extrude feature as the surface with closed ends and then also use the merge. And at the end we will create the final extrude feature as the solid and with the solidify feature we will create a necessary cut. So it was example and everything is defined here with the parametric modeling. So what does it mean? You can choose the parameter and for example spin and I'd like to spin it for example four times. So I can come from OK, regular model and right now this shaft shape is changed. If I will put more we can try if everything works as we need. So spin will be for example six times, seven times, we can try seven and regenerate. Perfect. So parametric is working and right now we can start how you can build your custom worm shaft based on the shape. So I will delete everything what is here. Yeah. And first of all, I will show you that I have prepared the original sketch here. So if I will select the definition, this sketch is original. I'd like to reuse this sketch a couple of times for some additional feature, as was mentioned a minute ago. So I'd like to save it. So select the file save and as the save as you can specify the name. The system will save this sketch to a hard drive and we would like to reuse it a couple of times. So I will cancel. Yes, of course, I don't want to modify it anymore. And in the parameters you can create your custom spin. So for example, I will create new parameter spin as the real number and first of all start with number one because you would like to calculate it really quickly. So how many spinning and rotation will be made? For now only one. So first information are ready and we can start to build the 3D model. So if I will select Ctrl D, the orientation, you can create the first sketch and specify how the system will create the object. So for example, will be defined by this value and the length of this curve, for example, will be 100 millimeters. So length of the worm shaft is 100, doesn't matter for now. And if I will come from OK, orientation is good, looks like this, perfect. What I like to reuse here is the sweep feature. If I will jump and select the sweep feature, we know that maybe we would like to use the solid model. We can start, we will see. And we will use the variable section. I will show you later what does it mean, but jump first over here in the sketch and in the sketch we would like to place our imported geometry. So origin will be placed and what we can do is spin the object as you need. So spin a little bit, change the size, so for example one to one and come from OK. And over here you can see that my sketch is really complicated and if you compare it with the first tutorial the shape was really easy so it was really easy to make the whole worm shaft in the one sweep feature. 
over here i have tested it's not working i will show you where is the problem so let's start to delete some preferences i'd like to show you more so i will delete a few lines which are placed here and for example i will delete everything because i like to focus here on this dimension what you can see here and also this point is not necessary so for now we have a couple of dimensions if you will use only sweep feature i will come from ok it works yeah perfect everything is fine but what we would like to do is spin this sketch 360 degree around uh, this curve or axis we can say through the whole length of the curve so this is the constant section yeah but if you would like to spin it we have to test it here so what i would like to do is that i will create some center line and in the center line i will set some value so what we can do here we will create two perpendicular symmetry center line and first angle will be 15 for example okay if i will specify 45 it will move so altogether these two center lines are working well perfect what does it mean if i will spin this center line the whole sketch has to spin around what does it mean i cannot use this predefined dimension i have to connect my sketch to new center line so simply and easy create the couple of new dimensions and always you have to create x and y dimensions yeah, if it is not possible system will show you that this dimension is not necessary you can delete and continue to another one so i will try to create always x and y if necessary system will understand it yes these dimensions are really necessary and again this one is not necessary here and over here is some intersection point so let's create the another dimensions perfect and if i will check quickly looks good and what we would like to do is okay one dimension is here 15.8 this one is not good we have to select this one and for example we can try if this reference is also necessary so one more time and we'll see okay maybe not dimensions which what which are here right now i like to lock so you can see here that in the drop down menu here it's possible to select only dimension and all dimensions what are here i will lock yeah and also you can try you can lock the sketch geometry so this geometry can be locked also what does it mean you can move with the point and the system will not break the geometry and right now we can try if it is possible to create this feature in the one sweep yeah so if it is possible reuse this sketch in the sweep so i will select 15 and you can try to change to 20 perfect this work it is working as we need 25 but this is manually so you would like to try the 360 degree and much faster is if you will select the dimension and if you will select dimension right mouse button or the select the modify icon and then this is the sensitivity i would like to spin it really quickly so you can see that it's working well and bing so some dimension are not sufficient for this shape because you see that i have used the spline here and the system will change the shape so the in reality if i will spin 360 degree this sketch who really problematic fine what we can do you can set your custom value as you need for example 20 degree it's a your starting point for all another sketches what we would like to apply and right now this 20 degree or whole sketch i will save to hard drive again because it's ready it's not so many axes and the dimensions are connected to my predefined center line so file save as and 20 degree yeah it's a name we test it it is not working perfect so 
what we can do, we can reuse this first shape and I will delete, for example, these curves. So we will delete this one, that one, and also these two, two of them. So I can do it like this. Again, I deleted some geometry system asked for some new dimension that was created automatically. So again, you need to create dimensions based on the center lines. Looks good. We can test if I will modify this value. Yeah, so if I will modify this value, sensitivity, and we can have a look. Shape is not changing. It looks good. What does it mean? If the system will spin the model around the center line or axis, what is here, the shape will be fine. What we would like to do, we will create relation. If you will jump to the tool, relations, and we would like to spin this SD30. So you can see here that it's possible to see that it's the 20 degree. Yeah. And we will equal the first starting angle is 20 degree. Per 360 per tripar. So trajectory parameter. It came from 0 to 1. And then how many times? We have created spin before or you will create it now if you will miss it. So spin means one time. Yeah, right now. Next time will be five, seven, what you have seen in the at the beginning of the video. If I will confirm OK, oh, I have some error in the relation. Trajectory parameter. Yeah, so T R I G P R R. So tripar. Yeah, sorry, my mistake. OK, I will check the relation. Everything's all fine. I come from OK. Great. And zero degree. Pooh, where is the problem again? 20 plus. OK, so one more time. 20 degree at the beginning and then 360 degree trajectory parameter and how many times you would like to spin. No problem if you come from OK. 20 is here. In the sketch, you will finish and if you come from OK, you remember that we have created solid geometry. So if you come from OK and the solid are not possible to create, so the system will transform to surface. OK, I'd like to transform to the surface. So the system push this button and we don't want to go straight on. So we will select the variable. And right now the system spin one time around and finish the first shape. And we will continue right now three times, three, four times, five times. You have to try. So also, I will. Uh, we can hide this sketch. It will be better, or this feature, because we would like to create a sweep feature again. And we know right now that we would like to have a variable section and surface and directly jump the sketch. Perfect. Orientation is same. Import 20 degree. And what we have to do is place and orient. This dragger point is possible to move with mouse, right mouse button, yeah? So you can, with right mouse button selected, then with left, you can move where you want. Scaling factor is one to one, everything is good. And we can continue on opposite side. So these two curves has to be deleted, for example, and also this one, and we can try this internal curve. What we can see here, again, some dimensions are created. So let's try to do new dimensions. Maybe I need to zoom in and create a new one. Maybe it's not necessary, yeah, because, but we'll see. Okay, I think that not more dimensions are necessary. And again, we can try to modify and spin. So it looks good. Seems that will be works. We can try. Yeah. And again, relation. Tools, relation. This dimensions equal 20 degree plus 360 degree pair tripar pair spin parameter. You can check. 
OK. We will reuse this relation more than once, so I will copy it. I don't need to do it again, 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 so OK. And in the sketch, I will confirm OK, and we see that it's working. Perfect. Confirm. Only the checking looks good. It's connected. We can continue. We can hide another feature and continue with the sweep. And again, variable surface sketch. Import. And you see that right now we can do it really fast without so much explanation. And we have to be careful with the scale factor. Confirm OK. What is not necessary, we will delete. And again, we will leave this one. So many dimensions, no problem. We will create a new one regarding our references, what we have created. And again, here and here. We can check if it is possible to spin. Select and modify. If it is sensitivity so small, you can see that this, you have to move it many, many times if your sensitivity increase, and it's really fast. Yeah, it works. Perfect. Tools relation. And you see right now that we will create this dimensions. OK. And if I will confirm OK, we see that is fine. Perfect. So first three features are created. So I will show. And we see here right now that we need to somehow merge these three separate surfaces into one quilt. How to do it? It's really easy. And you can select the surfaces and use the merge functionality. The system automatically show you if it is everything fine and if you come from OK. Right now you created one quilt. What we need here is to create the additional geometry. And if you would like to create additional geometry, the simply and easy is possible to create extrude feature. And in extrude feature I will create the missing surfaces. So we can create a circle. The system will automatically snap reference. And right now the system creates the solid model. We would like to create surface. It will be up to reference. So you can select two reference and select end of the curve. And in the option tab is possible to close or cut ends. Yes, perfect. Confirm OK. Everything's fine. These two geometry, merge feature and new extra surface feature is possible to merge again. And over here is a couple of arrows. Please try to play with it. Yeah, if you would like to go outside, inside and so on. So I will try. Perfect. This one looks good to me. And this is the geometry what I would like to cut from the future extrude feature. So again, extrude feature. And again, circle. Right now we would like to create solid geometry. If you would like to snap it automatically, select this point, select the shift button and the select reference. The system automatically snap to do selected references and this functionality is changed automatically from variable to reference. Yeah? So select the end, shift and move. Perfect. The solid geometry is created and based on this last merge, we would like to use the functionality solidify and remove material. If you come from OK, yeah, maybe negative value, edit definition and change the material site and come from OK. Fine. I think that looks good as we need. We will see. And what we would like to do, maybe we would like to change the length. So, so over here is the sketch length. So if you will select edit, maybe we would like to have it 250. It was only for checking and system automatically change. 
and we know that parameter spin right now is in the model parameters it's really easy maybe we can add this information here so i'd like to show you more if you will select three columns i don't want to see the feature id and we would like to see the parameter feature so model parameter spin and come from ok so right now the spin value is one how many times we would like to spin four times regenerate great it's the same like you select parameters and you will change it here to five ok regenerate and five is visible here here in model three in this video tutorial you have seen how it's possible to create worm shaft based on the surface modeling please share it with your friends like video leave me a comment and donate me buy coffee thank you and bye bye Vladimir.